Welcome to you all. My name is Jane Kandetu and I'm bringing you the exclusive box live in Cape Town, South Africa to be exact. This is the show where we bring you the views and opinions of exactly what people have to say on our topic at hand. What exactly is love? Now, it is love is defined to be a strong feeling of affection towards something or someone. Is that it? Is that what love really is to the rest of the world? Just a four letter word. Well, that's why today we decided to go out and find out from the rest of the world exactly what love is. Stay tuned. Today we are sitting with two lovely, lovely people. Um, we are here to find out exactly in their eyes what exactly love is. Okay, I must first say you guys are looking very good and um, very in love. I must express that. <laughs> okay, uh, Melissa and Tsepo, uh, that is correct? Yeah. yeah. What exactly is love to you guys? Uh, well, for me, um, love is never giving up. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Never giving up on what exactly? On what you have together. You know, like it's so easy just to just to give up. Like you can come across so many obstacles. You know, in a relationship, and yeah, you just have to just always just not give up. You know, no matter how hard it seems. You know, but yeah, you just don't give up and you will see everything come through you know the way that you always saw it uh -huh. to be uh -huh. okay so how long have you guys been together now wow. um i think since november last year no baby before that <laughs> <laughs> okay so pretty much um almost almost so this is almost three quarters of a year if i'm correct yeah about three quarters of a year yeah. okay if i were to ask you Elise, to give your boyfriend one lovely word one loving word what would it be i would say my boyfriend means the world to me oh she says her boyfriend means the world to him today these two people are telling us that love is not giving up to holding on exactly to everything you have so yes let's move on and find out from the rest of cape town what exactly they think love is Okay, what I think love is, love is everything, you know, love is energy, it's everything, it's what keeps us alive. Love is it's what keeps us alive. Yeah, that's love. So people that are dying are not love, they don't, they don't define love? Not that, it's just like, you know, that's a, that's a different way of looking at it. So if you're looking at it in terms of like, love is everything, what made you, what made us possible was because of love. When your mom saw your dad, she, they saw love in each other and now you're here, uh -huh. you see, so that's love. Okay. So yeah. So, so I'm love. Me, love. I'm love. We love. We all love. Okay. Love we everything. are love. I am here together with uh, Shederek, um, who's joined as well by wise men. We asking them exactly, gentlemen, what is love to you guys? Love is the pain that a uh, doctor cannot even explain you. Uh huh. What what pain is this? Pain is love. Pain. If I love you, I love you. That's a pain. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Are are you in love at the moment? Yeah. How does it feel? Good. <laughs> it feels good. It feels good pain. And and Mr. You, no, what it's is a bad pain to me. <laughs> 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 because I'm, I'm on the street because of love. Oh, you're on the street because yeah, of love. Yeah, I used to love someone, but we break up. She take everything from me. That's why I'm on the street now. Okay, if you could sum up what love is in three words, what would it be? Three words. Only three words. <laughs> it's a pain. There we go. Three perfect words. It's a pain. Let's move on and find out from the rest of Cape Town what they think love is. Ladies and gentlemen, so far we've been told love is pain, love is everything, love is not giving up on the ones you love. I'm joined by John in the park of Cape Town and he will be telling us, according to him, what uh, he thinks love is. Well, love is a feeling that's between people that you can't express. Okay, so you can't express it? Well, you can show it, but it's not like someone or something, it's just a feeling that you have for the person. How strong is this feeling? Is it weak or is it super strong? It's very strong. Are you talking from experience? Yeah. You look like you're in love. No, I'm not. You sure? No. Okay, so you say love is a strong feeling. Yes. Thank you so much. 
I am with a very beautiful lady that I had to run to to catch up with her as um, she was sitting on the grass having a great picnic with uh, a friend of hers. Ilsa, can you perhaps tell me um, what your concept of, uh, is of love exactly? Yeah, we actually just spoke about it. Um, Jesus is love for us. Um, we talked about where we came from, from a dark place, and um, he's light, he is love, he is forgiveness, he is peace. Um, he died on the cross for us, um, the greatest sacrifice that any human being has ever made for any other human being, and none of us deserved it, but he um, did it for us to make a way to be with God. Is there anything else that comes close to the love that uh, Jesus has for us? No. Nothing. No thing, no human being? No. Perfectly fine. Jesus is love. Marty, how are you feeling on this amazing day? Oh, I'm actually enjoying it a lot. It's beautiful sun and nice in the garden. So. Okay, so I'd like to ask you something very simple. Okay. What exactly is love to you? Well, um, my friend just said it also. I, I also believe that Jesus is love and uh -huh. Jesus giving his life for us. But also I think uh, to take it further, God is love. Mm -hmm. um, because God sent his own son so that he would die in our place. And the beautiful thing about God is that he doesn't take, he doesn't, you know, make the decision for us, contrary to popular belief. Mm -hmm. he, he actually gives us the chance to make the right decision or to choose. Even when we choose to go against him, we still... He gives us that choice, but he keeps on drawing us closer to himself mm -hmm. and drawing us back to him. I mean, we all have, I'm sure you also, mm -hmm. we all have that consciousness inside of us that he's around there. Mm -hmm. We're actually scared of him because of sin and all of those things. Mm -hmm. But he keeps on drawing us back to himself and it's out of his love that he, he does that for us. So. so if you were to sum it up in five words, what exactly would you say or how exactly would you put it? Five words. words. <laughs> and go. Uh, God is love. <laughs> he loves you. Oh no, that's sick. <laughs> God, he loves you. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Thank you so much. Sure. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You too. <laughs> God is the ultimate love. You are still joined with me, Jane Kandetu, and this is the exclusive box. We are here in the gardens of Cape Town, finding out from the people um, of the mother city exactly what love is to them. I am joined by Mr. Charles. Yes. Mr. Charles, can you yes. perhaps define um, what love is to you? Well, Cape Town is a good place to stay. But only the government doesn't want us to sleep on the streets here in Cape Town. We've got no place to sleep here. Okay, so Cape Town is um, love? Yes, yes. So Cape Town is love. If you had one wish to put this love in um, the best form mm. or in any way you wanted to, yeah. what exactly would your wish be? Well, I would like to go to the shelter, if it's possible, but I can't get in the shelter. I love Cape Town very much. Yes. Okay, so it would be a lovely thing for you to get into the shelter. Yes. Is the shelter a place where you could call home and love? Yes, yes. Or that will let home, because I'm, very, I'm 67 already. I know we're 68, and I would like to get into that will let home, if it's possible. If you had... If we, we could make you the president of this country, what would the first thing you would do? What is the first thing you do for everybody who is in the same situation as you? I would uh, help them and give them, uh, try and get them uh, places to stay. Some shelter? Because they're always, uh, people are always dear to me. Mm -hmm. And I would help them as much as I can. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, and may God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We find out that uh, Cape Town to some is love, but it's not the direct love that everybody else has been saying. If he had one wish, it would be to be in a shelter. That is his definition of love. I am joined by Steve. Um, we're still in the gardens of Cape Town. Steve, what exactly is love to you? Uh, love to me, it's kind of difficult to point your finger at it, I think. But uh, it's something a little sparkle, I think. Love is something you can't really describe in words, but you can feel. If you pass any t every someone, maybe, you can feel a little bit of connection. And that is the first sparkle, I think. And then love can grow into, into something more beautiful and uh, 
that can stay a long time and uh, that that connection that can be always stays like that what's the best form of love that you have ever felt the best love the sparkle what's the greatest sparkle <laughs> that you felt the greatest just um the sparkle of just meeting someone at the beginning and feeling that tension and then um, sometimes it's nothing and sometimes it grows to something nice. Okay, so you are from? From Belgium. How are you loving Cape Town thus far? <laughs> it's just my first day but it's beautiful. We just visited a uh, Cap de Goede Hope uh -huh. and it's lovely and here we're impressed with all the nice buildings and everything and it's so nice here and everyone is friendly so <laughs> I really enjoyed it. If you could define Cape Town in five words, what exactly would it be? <laughs> it's... <laughs> Remember, only five words. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> it's your favorite? Yes. Thank you so much and I hope you do enjoy the rest of your stay here. Pleasure. Cool. I am joined by Neil and Elise. They have been in Cape Town for only six hours. So, can you guys define me to me what exactly love is in your eyes? Just caring about somebody as much as possible. Did you mention that we're on our honeymoon right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, so you guys are on your honeymoon. Yeah. Okay, so um, six hours into Cape Town. Put it in five, in a five, it put it in five, give me five words how you would put it. Six hours into Cape Town. It's beautiful landscape, no, beautiful love. city. Oh, <laughs> so confused. Trusting, caring, you gotta get along because there's just some uh, food battles. <laughs> um, you have to share small spaces. Okay, so how long have you guys, when not long ago did you get married? Three weeks ago. Ah, three weeks? So we don't really know yet. <laughs> okay, so you guys are on a discovery on what exactly yeah, love is. We're on a discovery what love is. How does it feel so far? It's good. It's We've good. made it through London and we still love each other. <laughs> Are you excited for the future? Oh, absolutely. Okay, if you were to tell Elise exactly, um, express to her how much you really love her. <laughs> Baby. Oh. Come here. Um. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Um, there we go. I can't put it in any more words. <laughs> we're still finding out exactly what love is to people. I'm joined by a very, very interesting um, person, uh, Mrs. Mini. Can you tell me exactly what love is to you? Love makes me happy. Love makes you happy. What, uh, what type of happiness is this? Eh? What type of happiness is it? In my religion. Any memories that you remember from years back? Yeah, I can remember a lot. And how does it make you feel when you remember them? I, 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 the, I, the, like, um, I, 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 make me feel like my young one, or the young days. Oh, so it takes you back. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. That was interesting. Love is God, and uh, it's happiness, pure happiness. I caught up with a quite interesting family. Uh, this is the Lugemia family. Um, we do have a little princess here, a prince and the king himself. I'll start off with you, sir. What exactly is love to you? Love is life. Love is uh, being at peace with everyone around you. Love is everything you can see around here is love. So we, we stay with the birds. We're at peace even with the uh, God's creations, the birds, the trees. Everything around here is love to So what is love to you, baby? Everything around here. I love all of the trees, I love the grass, I love the leaves. So I love playing football. I am joined today from people all over the world. I've got Nulek who's from Thailand and Bianco represent, representing Angola to say as such. So to, if you were to give love three words, how exactly would you define it? I definitely, I definitely say love is loose. If I were to ask you to define love in five words, what exactly would you say? Uh, the most beautiful feeling that the man could share in the world. Oh, are, are you experiencing love right now? Yes, all the time. How does it feel? It's feel good. It's great. Just good? Wonderful. Amazing. Like, Amazing. Yes, really you don't have... I think words can, can't define uh -huh. what is love, you know? Uh -huh. Just actions and only the person could can feel, you know? Uh -huh. Yes. So it's a feeling from within? Yes, and, and you, can, you can try to make, you know... On the things, on the 
talk with people and to share the love. Uh -huh. Can love ever be a bad thing? Uh, no, never, never. never. You sure? I'm sure, never. Okay. Never. Okay. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. I caught up with a bunch of kids in the garden, uh, the Cape Town Gardens to be exact. These people are from America. It's quite interesting. If um, can you just introduce yourself first? I'm Daniel. Tommy. So Daniel, Tommy. Zachary. Shrill. Sure, you look shy. Uh, I'm not really that shy. Okay, cool. So I'll start off with you. If you're not really that shy, <laughs> what exactly is love to you? Uh, confusing. <laughs> confusing in what way? Uh, it's hard to manage. <laughs> it's hard to manage? Yeah. Who gives you a tough time in love? Uh, I've never even had it, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, what is love to you? Something that I like very much. And to me, I have no idea because I'm confused already. <laughs> You're confused already? Yeah. Just thinking about it? Yep. Okay, cool. That's perfectly fine. I will ask you to uh, define love in seven words. Can you do that? Okay. Would you want to count on your fingers or can you, do you have this? Yeah. Okay, cool. And go. Love is for people who feel lonely. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And um, let me see what I can ask you. Okay, cool. Um, define love for me. Um, I would say, by everything I've been watching, I would say love is a warm feeling in your heart that makes you feel good inside. So it's a warm feeling in your heart. Do you think love can ever be bad? No. Do you no. think it could ever cause pain? Possibly someone breaks your heart. Oh, have you, has your heart ever been broken? No, hmm. I never had love in my life. Never will, probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, if, if you would pinpoint anything that you loved in Cape Town so far, that you visited, a place, an, an icon, anything, um, can you remember where it was and, how, and how, how, how did you feel when you were there? Okay. Um, <laughs> we didn't go to many places, but we went to this museum and it was educating uh -huh. and I learned a lot. I think so. you wanted to say something? Okay, uh, we still didn't go to this place, but I think we were planning on going uh, Table Mountain. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. Okay, would you want to walk up it or would you go with the cable? Walk up. You look fit. Do you love walking? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. I caught up with the two cutest little girls um, here in the gardens. Um, they're from Texas. How long have you guys been in Cape Town? About three days. How are you loving it thus far? It's really fun here. Would you come back? Yes. Has there any place that you've been to that um, you can pinpoint and exactly say, wow, this was an amazing place? I like the museum that we just went to. Okay, and you? Um, probably the same. I really like the mineral section, the rocks and minerals. Okay. I'd like to find out from you guys, um, what, what would you define love as? Um, <laughs> something that is uncontrollable, <laughs> probably something that you can't stop. Like, if you really love someone, like, you should know it. It'll just be there. Can you ever stop your feelings, it can, can, can it be stoppable? Is it something that you can, you know, just be like, no, I don't want you, I don't want to feel you right now? <laughs> I don't think so, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what would you define love as? Um, it's something that, it's a really good feeling that you would like to have. It's um, something that can show your affection for someone else. Uh, if you like someone, and I agree with her with what she said, that you can't stop it even if you wanted to. Perfectly fine. So at the count of three, can we go Cape Town rocks? One, two, three. Cape Town rocks. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Um, yeah. Ira, Ira, um, yeah. a.k.a. Malaika. Mikiala. There we go. So um, can you define exactly what love is? Purity, love. Purity. Upon Jarastafari, the way he creates us. Love, love is purity, hot. It's hot? Love is a religion. Is it hot? Yeah, man. Love How hot is religion. it? Love, love, purity, love. You can define love in how many words? Oh, purity, love, yeah, man. Yes, I. And the way yes, I. Feel a high ray. Feel a high ray. Love is a high ray. Without love, no survival. Without love. Thank that. you so much. Love is high ray. Love is jar love. Yeah, man.
Love is amazing. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I caught up with the, the wonderful Fab. Fab would love to tell us exactly, in his eyes, what love is. Fab, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, and you? You look good. Thank you. And yourself? Thank you. What is love? Love is something good. Just good? Yeah. So, love is easy. It's easy when someone loves you. Can love ever be defined as nothing? Has been. Because it's something so complicated that you can't have ideas uh -huh. how it works in the system. Uh -huh. But as a human being, we try, we try. I know that it's hard, uh -huh. but we want to do just try to success and say, like, we can make it simple. But it never can be. Only God is another. I am joined by our final two, uh, Marlena and Kat all the way from the United States of America. So I would want to ask you guys exactly what is love? Well, actually I'm married and love to me is finding someone, well, a romantic love would be finding someone who can be your partner. So somebody who can accompany you in the difficulties of life, but also in starting projects mm -hmm. and so can support you in that. Mm -hmm. Your companion, which would be somebody who can go with you, you know, do things that are fun to you. Like if you like to go running or hiking, mm -hmm. do that with you, even if that's not their favorite thing to do and you for them. And then lastly, your best friend. So somebody who's there for you emotionally and who's there for you through the good and bad and, um, yeah, and ultimately, love to me has to have a deeper, like, spiritual mm -hmm. um, bonding. And it doesn't matter to me what religion that is or if there is even a religion involved, but some deeper, like, connection with, um, between the two of you mm -hmm. that goes beyond just physical. Cat, mm -hmm. <laughs> if I were to ask you to um, define love in five words only. In five words? Yes, That's what would it be? <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to do it with the Kirk Franklin song, if you know who oh, Kirk Franklin know, yeah. is. Yeah, so I would say love is patient, caring, and kind. And, yeah, that's it. Okay, love is patient, kind, and... <laughs> okay, perfectly fine. Yeah. You guys have been in Cape Town for a week. Yep. Um, how are you loving it thus far? It's amazing. I... I you know, I like when I came here, I pictured this as a place that I could honestly spend the rest of my life in. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, obviously the nature is beautiful and incredible. I think, though, the most amazing thing I've visited so far is Robben Island. Mm -hmm. And it was really touching to me because I've read Nelson Mandela's autobiography. Mm -hmm. And seeing, like, the history is very apparent here and it's so recent. And mm -hmm. seeing, like, how it's playing out here and then going over there and just, like, being with the weight of everything that he must have gone through was really powerful and something that everybody must do when they come here. As from me, Jane Kandetu, on the exclusive box. Until next time, it might not be the same place or same time, but you definitely can stay tuned and we will inform you on exactly what we'll be speaking about next time. Keep the love flowing. Love, love, love.